hi guys i'm back and today it's november 6 2022 and i'm gonna share you guys my journey or what i have been doing this past month that i was unable to post any videos on my channel so uh ito na ikipenta ko na sa inyo kung bakit bakit ako busy this this past month okay uh nakuha yung passport ko month of may and when i hold it in actual <laughs> in actual or nung nasa akin na yung passport ko hindi na ako mapalagay na parang hindi ko siya magamit so uh, i applied online and i applied as domestic worker so in hong kong so i applied online because nasa province ako ayoko kong lumuwas ng manila na parang hindi pa ako sure or or wala pa akong assurance na matatanggap ako kasi you know I am working also in the province so I applied through online and then uh, it takes about I think uh, June July August yeah three more than three months I applied and applied and I ha I I do so many interviews direct from Hong Kong or in the Philippines uh, so many agencies that I have I have been interviewed and luckily and fortunately I was hired last September 6, 2022 uh, and agency in the Hong Kong contacted me if I can do my interview at night uh, because an employer wants to uh, interview me and ask me because uh, she likes me as to be their helper so I replied I said yes ma'am I can do the interview at uh, 9 in the evening so after the interview uh, that was a lot and uh, not so hard interview because it's it's the questions are just for myself and you know yung mga dapat mo lang talagang gawin as a domestic helper and after that interview, my agency in the Hong Kong uh, said that the employer or my employer confirmed to hire me and I have to report on Manila to process my documents, the necessary papers before, of course, going to abroad. So, uh, lumuwas akong Manila September 18 and nag-report ako ng agency ko November 19 sa Pasay. And my accommodation is in Las Piñas. And like, after that, after I report, I, yeah, kinabukasan, nag-training na ako for uh, TESDA so that I can get my, um, I am my national certificate for domestic work and CITO because it's one of the uh, primary requirements, of course, because you are applying for a domestic helper. So uh, you have to, to get the certificate coming from the TESDA. And, yun, nag-training ako. It's about, uh, you know, uh, there are four core competencies to get the full qualification of being a domestic helper. Uh, core one, which is clean living room, dining room, bedroom, uh, kitchen, and toilet. And so that was the training. Uh, core number two is about wash and iron clothes, linens, and fabrics. And core number three is, or the competency three is um, prepare hot and cold meals. And lastly is provide food and beverage services. And after my training, of course, uh, we have to be assessed or pupunta ka sa assessment center para i-assess na ni TESDA kung talagang ready ka na for for uh, ready ka na as a domestic helper. So, lahat ng training mo, uh, lahat ng ginawa mong training doon sa four competencies, titignan nila, i-evaluate nila kung talagang papasa ka. So, I did pass. I did pass. Not all. Okay? Not the all core competencies. Uh, I did pass the one, two, and four. And fortunately, bagsak ako sa uh, prepare hot and cold meals because uh, ang niluto ko doon is uh, chicken relight with bechamel sauce and potato potato muscle. And when the assessor uh, pinulatlat niya yung uh, ginawa ko sa plating ko, may nakita siyang buo doon sa potato. So yun, uh, bagsak ako. Not yet competent ako. And I have to retake or I have to do a reassessment so that I can have the full qualification of being of uh, domestic work in situ. And yeah, after that, umuwi muna ako ng province, October 17, kasi wala pa akong schedule ng reassessment. 
Mm, kasi naman sa magtambay ako dito, eh, meron pa naman akong work po sa province. So, umuwi muna ako. Nag-work muna ako sa province and at the same time, banding sa family because this is it. Because this is what I've been praying for or I've been dreaming of uh, to be to be able to step out from my comfort zone, which which is my work for 11 years. Of course, I'm glad to be part and I'm, I'm so proud to be worked on a company for that long years. Of course, I, marami ako natutunan doon, especially uh, uh, on dealing with business. And this time, what I want to, what I want to experience or to take take risk is for myself, and you know, for para sa pamilya na din. So yon, uh, banding sa family, and when my agency uh, told me that I have my schedule for OWA. Uh, it's November 8, 9, and 10. So, malapit na. Uh, one day. Uh, yeah, today is November 6. So, next. It's Tuesday. Then, lumos ako pabalik dito na Manila, November 2. Yun, the next na naman ako na agency na may schedule na ako for the assessment of uh, TESDA. Kasi I need to pass nga doon sa nabagsa kong core competency. So, sabi ng agency ko, uh, Me, yung schedule ko daw is November 10. Pero hindi ko siya pwedeng i-attend. Hindi ko siya pwedeng, uh, hindi ako pwedeng mag-assessment that date kasi it's my last day of OWA. Remember my OWA schedule is 8, 9, and 10. Hindi ko siya pwedeng iwan na lang yung OWA ko because that's the final day. So sabi ng agency, they have to move my schedule again for the reassessment. So maghihintay na naman ako ng schedule. Kailan ako magpapa-assess? And you know, it's for me. It's a uh, it's a waste of time. Not a waste of time. I, I mean, yun pa ba yung hihintayin ko na ano uh, in, in schedule na hindi ko alam kung pwede pa naman ako umuwi sa probinsya pagkatapos ng lahat ng process ko dito at makipagbanding sa kanila and sa family ko. I mean, so yun uh, November three. Ano yun? That was a uh, Friday night. Yeah, November three. May tumawag sa akin, hindi ko siya nasagot kasi I leave my phone charging and nag-deck siya. Uh, sabi, sabi ng agency, um, Miss Agnes, uh, ikaw na lang yung maiiwan sa batch ko kasi ako na lang yung, supposedly, tatlo kami mag-retake ng November 10 pero yun nga, hindi ako pwede. So sabi niyo, ma'am, mamumove ako at ako na lang sa batch ko yung maiiwan ng mag-reassessment. Ako na lang mag-isa o ako kasama. So, gano'n naman talaga dapat masani ng magisa kasi yun, ano mo to eh, parang ano ko na to eh uh, ginusto mo na to ikaw na lang yung dapat mag-assess sa sarili mo so, yun uh, Friday night uh, Thursday night yeah, Thursday night nag-text sa akin yung assessment center ang sabi niya kung nandito na daw ba ako sa Maynila kasi isisingit niya ako ng November 5 and when I read that message, I suddenly replied to her, Yes, ma'am, I'm in Manila right now. Nakalawas po ako nung November to. Yes po, pasingit po ako ng schedule para makapag-assessment. So yun, tumawag siya. Yes, isisingit kita kasi ikaw na lang yung maiiwan sa batch mo kasi nga mag-uuwa ka, di ba? I said, yes po. Uh, okay, uh, mag-report ka sa Saturday, November 5 para mag-assessment. And yeah, I reported last day, yesterday, sa my last Pina City. And nagpa-assess ako. Yung binalikan ko lang is not the four competencies because napasa ko na yung tatlo. Yung binalikan ko lang, kung ano yung binagsakan ko o yung, yung na-failed ako. So, bumalik ako sa pagluluto. And nasabi ko talaga na uh, I, I did my best yesterday and nasarapan ako noon sa luto ko. Which is sweet and sour fish play with, with young chow fried rice and my appetizer is tuna canapé. My dessert is almond jelly with lychee. And my soup is carrot soup. So, yun. Nagawa ko siya at napast ko siya. Naipasa ko siya. So, ngayon, owa na lang yung hihintayin ko. And, one thing. My agency told me, day before my assessment, that my visa did, has arrived. Or, andito na sa agency. Hawak na ng agency yung visa ko. Um, what I am waiting now is my contract and of course after my OWA or after I get uh, they receive my contract is my flight kung kailan talaga and 
yun nga, tungkol naman doon sa assessment ko, uh, I need to go down to main test doon sa tagig kasi I have to uh, get my certificate there personally because I need to convert them or what I passed from the first assessment is only the three core competencies and it's blue the certificate is color blue and of course I pass also the second assessment and the certificate will be released is also color blue I need to convert and combine them to make it yellow and get that mismo doon sa tagig which is ako lang talaga yung pwedeng magpa-convert noon ng certificate na yun. Pero wala pa namang advice sa akin sa agency. Mm, and ito na nga, nung nabagsak ako doon sa assessment ko, I was so down. Like, babalikan ko na naman siya, iyak ako. Although marami kami nung nabagsak sa batch ko, tatlo kami from the other batch, tatlo din sa kanin. Mm, yun. Hindi ako maka- uh, I mean, not hindi ako makausap. Pag may nagtatanong sa akin, hindi ako sumasagot. Pag may nagchat-chat, kamusta assessment mo? Wala, hindi ako nag-reply. I cried for like two nights and, you know, uh, inisip ko na lang my purpose ang, ang nangyaring to. And God has the perfect timing for everything. You know that. Kasi naisip ko siya nung sinabi ng agency na ako na lang yung mahuhuling mag-assessment. Pero what God did, was ako pa pala yung nauna. <laughs> Kasi nakapag-assessment ako ng, re-assessment ako ng November 5, ah, uh, November 5, yeah. Yung mga hindi pa, is November 10. So, ako tuloy yung nauna. <laughs> Kaya talaga, what I hold right now is just to trust God in everything that happens and you know that every delay of your, uh, every delay of your plans was God's perfect plan, you know, kasi malay mo uh, kung naipasa pa lahat yun, hindi natin alam, hindi natin alam talaga siya lang yung nakakaalam ng mga time ng lahat ng nangyayari sa buhay kaya kinukomfort ko din yung sarili ko that time na, God, sabi ko God, bakit ako nabagsak kailan ka na naman kumulit and then, yun, nag-trust na ako so that's it guys I will update you soon uh, for the journey of this uh, abroad abroad <laughs> na pangarap and I hope and I pray that uh, ito na nga yun tuloy tuloy na uh, I know that the Lord will be with me all the time and I simply have to trust His time His will in my life so that's it guys